Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we are currently in a bit of a recovery period although we're getting kind of close to the end of that recovery period because our maximum manpower is only 36.99 which isn't a lot but actually at 32 per month that's gonna take us a while to get there isn't it? Yes, it is. How long is that going to take? Okay, let's run some calculations here while this is running forward. So 36.99 divided, or actually minus 1,008 divided by 35. That was divided by 358. Hang on, I typoed that. Times 358 divided by 35. There we go. I guess it's 32. Sure. That's about 84 months, 84, 85 months. Sure. So about seven years. That's... Not too bad, all things considered. Yeah, that seems reasonably okay. Now, the main question I have here is, are we ever going to be able to reach this area? And we could try to force this. So, I think I'm going to do that. I'd like to get any console stuff that we need to do out of the way. So, this is the only area I think that we're not going to be able to reach to colonize. Like, this should be reachable here. Like, this is part of the default map, so that should all be reachable for sure. This was just a small oversight over this way, right? So that should be reachable. There might be some areas out here. No, this all looks pretty reachable to me. So I think it might just be this area here, but we need to satisfy conditions first. So let's move some pops in here. I'm going to move in one, two, three, four, five. That puts us at seven. So that's what we are required to have in order to colonize this. However, we're going to have to restart the game in debug mode in order to actually do this. What is this event? Six stability for 18 gold. Our stability is already positive right now. It is going up due to divine sacrifices, but it is decaying as well. I don't think we need it at this moment. So I'm going to make a save right here, and we're just going to... Restart in debug mode. We're going to grab this area with the manpower, and we're going to have to spend a thousand manpower on it. I th or no, it's in multiples of 500, isn't it? So we can just spend 500 manpower on this ish. It's going to be like 672, I think. Uh, we'll experiment with that in a moment. I'll see you guys in debug mode. Okay, so here we are back. Oh, I restarted the game. There we go. We're back in debug mode here, as you can see. And we need the province ID here. That is 1155. Okay, so we need to conquer 11055. There we go. This is now our territory, but now we have to pay for it. And it costs 500 manpower. So we can do manpower. I wonder... Let's try manpower minus one. We're targeting going for 672 manpower here. That's our that's our target amount. And there we go. That's perfect. That gives us minus 500 manpower. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now we need to save the game and restart again, no longer in debug mode. Perfect. And hopefully that will be the last time we have to do this. This is just an oversight over here. These sea tiles need to be a little bit reworked because they're not currently conquerable, but it is required for our mission. So that is absolutely exciting. Well, I'll be right back. No longer in debug mode. See you guys in a moment. Okay, so game is restarted. We have conquered this area. It costed us the manpower, and we had to move the pops in here. Now, these pops aren't actually... I think they're supposed to have moved, like, one or two pops up here. I'm not going to be too concerned about that. All we needed to do is get this done so that we can continue our mission, right? So we're going to get this finished. Fantastic. And we can also get this integrated. So that's great. Of course, we're going to need to conquer up here in order to finish this, but that's fine. I just wanted to get this out of the way, and hopefully we don't have to use the console at any other time here. That would be ideal. Of course, we're very low on manpower, and we absolutely need to be ticking forward here. We may even want to head up to speed five, because we're going to be here for a little bit here. We're no longer importing elephants. Okay, sure. So we're at 3.76 for our treasury. We need to get as much gold as we can. I'm wondering if we want to do any strong arming. 
How much stability is that costing? Eight? It would bring us negative. Hmm. I'm going to do it. And I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to do it. And we're going to need to just get what gold we can, right? We're no longer importing wood. That is reasonably fine. So we're going to need to attack these guys up here. But with our manpower in its current situation, we probably don't want to. They have a CB. They have no alliances. So that should be a relatively simple war for us. It should be a quite simple war. We're going to need to fabricate on them. No doubt about that. So we're going to fabricate a claim. We'll get started on that. When is that going to be done? That is going to be done in April of 480. So a little bit over a year to get that done. That'll allow us to regenerate some manpower. And attacking up here should go very easily. This is where the city is. That will be a harder siege for us. That's a pretty high level fort there. And we may want to fully... This is a different state up here. I was thinking we may want to fully encircle this. That would be pretty extensive, though. And we'd have to fight these guys, who's a multi-state nation here. And they have 66 pops to our... I mean... That's 91. Uh, I want to go in here. Our 159. So we have way more pops than they do. That probably means that we can take them fairly easily. But we have a large deficit of buildings to build. We don't want to build too wide, I think. So we're, I'm trying to check our expansion at this moment. Because our economy is not great. And I like to have a solid economic foundation before we do too much else. Uh, sure, we'll send him wishes for a speedy recovery. That seems fine. Now, our AE is not going down by very much. That's fine. 6 AE is not very significant. So I'm not concerned about that for right now. We are going to be finishing up this claim eventually. Once we are maybe around 80%, I'm going to raise up our troops and start sending them over so Barris over here has a tr has a reputation we can get two tribesmen we can get two slaves or we can get local population growth for 240 months a quarter point i'm just wondering here this is a percentage increase i'm wondering what our current pop growth is like okay so, 0.25% over 240 months. Let's pull open a calculator again here. I'm curious on what this is actually going to result in. So, 0.25 times 240 results in 60. That is not great. That gives you 60% of a pop. Over a pretty long-term period. Unless it it's a multiplier rather than an rather than being additive. Maybe? If that's the case, this is even worse. <laughs> so at, at least at our current rate of growth. So this is not a good way to go. I think because we're planning on making this into a manpower city, we should probably go with tribesmen here. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the two pops and we're going to go for tribesmen. Under most circumstances, I would choose slaves for the base tax, but tribesmen generate tax and manpower, so that'll be fine. But we're eventually going to go for freemen there. And they'll get converted over. That's okay. So that's all absolutely fine. Our diplomacy is at 65% here. We'll be able to raise up our force fairly soon. And we're going to have enough cash to construct another settlement building pretty soon as well. Which is going to be very good for us, of course. We want to get additional farming settlements. We want to get mines done where we can. And that's all wonderful. Base resource production plus one for blacksmiths, too. We'll have to see what we can do with blacksmiths. We're probably more interested in mines, but logging camps are fine. There's actually a lot of buildings here, which is very interesting. The Dahai have become increasingly bellic bellicose, huh? Okay. I probably don't care about that. 
We should raise up our military though, and let's send them on over. So I wanna select all of these guys. We're going to need to embark them. So all of these lads get embarked, and I'm going to send this navy over to, we lack access to our own territory. That's because there's no port there. We're gonna send them over here where there's a port. So that looks fine. Our troops are on their way. We're gonna get them up here before we actually declare this war is the idea. It might take them some time to get there, which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna bring us down to speed four again since we're going to be going to war here. We need to select these lads and bring them on up. Cool. That's going to take them some time to get through. It's rough going through this jungle. But that's absolutely okay for the moment. They just need to make their way in. And this is going to be completed 1 April, which is right now. Okay. That seems relatively fine. We're just going to arrive there on like 17, 18 April, and then here will be a little after. So it'll just be a little a little delayed before we actually attack this. That's okay. We see that they've got their levy here. I'm not sure why they're keeping their levy raised right now. It's a little odd. But I like it. That means that we can plan for it and we can attack their levy just right out the gate. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so this guy was caught red-handed, and the dungeon will straighten him out. Absolutely. So this guy is now disloyal, and is he a leader here? Well, we're actually lacking a commander here. The governorship is empty. No, it isn't. We have no governor to command troops here. So who is this? Not you. Okay, I'm confused about the governorship here. Why are we lacking governorships here? We shouldn't be. So, okay, that's just automatically assigned. Gotcha. That's reasonably fine. I want to declare this war here then. Oh, and we need a martial researcher. That is going to be this guy. Absolutely. So I want to declare this war. We're going to take Malaya. Oh, they're currently at war already with these guys. That must be why their levies are up. So we're going to head in here. And if this siege is under it, underway right now, what does that mean for our war? That's an interesting question, actually. So we're going to win this battle easily enough, right? That's fine. No problem whatsoever here. I'm wondering if we can yoink this siege. The, the way that we would go about doing that is these retreat here. I want to immediately move all of our forces up here. Oh, we actually see that this is not currently under siege, so this is fine. Their forces were just chilling here for no reason, I guess. Or maybe these guys have their levies raised and they're right here and they're scary. I don't know. Who's the aggressor in this war? These guys are the aggressor. Okay, that makes sense then. But we definitely want to head up here and get this siege going. Now, I'm going to send some of our forces back. These guys I want to stay. I want these guys to come back. And these guys come back. And these guys come back. Perfect. I want only this force to stay here. We are sieging this. And the question is, are they getting a second siege going? I don't think you can do that in this game. I know you can't in things like in things like uh, Europa, in Crusader Kings, you can't. I don't think it's possible in Imperator. Although, Imperator is one of my lesser experienced games, so that's reasonably fine. I want to check in on the supply here. Okay. 1% attrition here, but now 0%. That looks good. So attrition looks solid. And we'll just keep an eye on the siege. This should be over very, very soon. This is a very clean war. We've done very little in terms of manpower loss. We lost 332 men. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So that's going to get us this territory. We're going to go for Patani next, probably. That should be another fairly clean war, all things considered. Out of curiosity, let's just fabricate on them right now while we're sieging this. And then we'll declare this war with our existing levy, I think. That's probably the best way to go here. Now, we're going to be able to construct a mine at this point. I absolutely want to get a mine building here. 
So we'll get that underway. Beautiful. We need to get our economy going, right? We've got a lot of very poorly developed land here. And that's not going to serve us well once we start getting up here. <laughs> that's for sure. There's going to be some problems, I have a feeling. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of want to check our aggression and just make our way up to one of these choke points. I'm thinking this choke point is the place to be for the moment. But we'll see what that ends up looking like. For now, of course, this war is completely fine. We can call down an omen and slaves needed for surplus, I guess. We'll do that. I don't know that that'll actually gain us anything at this stage of the game. Later on, it very likely will. But for now, this is probably fine. We just, we don't have that developed of a population. And a lot of these slaves are not in locations where they're going to, you know, be producing additional things. But we've got precious metals there, which is very solid. Gold and silver. Yep. So this siege is... Uh-huh. So Patani got that siege. We were def definitely there first. That's intriguing. So, with this split, what does that mean? That means that we are not in a position, neither of us are in a position to end this war. Luckily, we're already working on our active diplomacy here because that's going to be necessary. You guys are supposed to be coming here. Come on. There you go. Okay, never mind. They just took everything. Okay. Well, good thing we were already planning on doing this. They yoinked that away from us. And how did they do that? That's my question. We beat them there. I would have assumed under the standard, like, Europa-style rules, which clearly is a bad assumption, that they would not have been able to get this siege. That should have been our siege. Regardless, we'll crush them. This isn't a problem. We just need to pull our troops back and finish up this active diplomacy. And we'll get our morale regenerated because we were black flagged. I'm not even going to put us on unit reorg. It's going to take us some time to get this done. 1 March 482. So that seems okay. We are, of course, upset at these guys. Absolutely. Absolutely, we are very upset at them. And we will get them. No doubt about that. Of course, our mine is still being worked on. And that will be finished up soon enough. We are not putting down our levy forces here. So I want to check. We're not getting attrition here, not getting attrition here. Yeah, our food is growing. So this should be absolutely okay. I'm not concerned about this right now. Beautiful. That is fine. We have a character focus available here, and I guess we can go for like a martial focus? Enslavement efficiency, huh? We might want to go for like a... These are all exactly the same. Let's go for a prowess focus. And we have a martial perk available, so we'll take loyalty and respect. Then loyal generals. Apparently we can work our way down quite a lot of this. Discipline or a naval trait? We're going to go discipline, assault ability, local tax, and local manpower. Th some of these are temporary, so that's noted. We apparently can't go down that route. We can take a martial perk. Oh, we can go here, here, and then that's all the further we can go. Sounds good. So that looks fine. We just hadn't, you know, interacted with that for a while. We do have a bad research ratio, which is absolutely the case. 100% that's a thing. So this is going to be ready around 1 March. They just put their levy down. Okay, that's fine. We have a solid plan here. We're going to attack here. We're going to attack here. They're going to raise up their levy here. And these guys will be in position to reinforce here if necessary. I don't want to spend gold. Okay. So this is going to be finished in just two more month ticks here. Fantastic. But we are definitely upset at these guys in our spaghetti. Very upset in our spaghetti. Cool. So one more month tick and we'll be ready to declare that. Our finances are slowly increasing. I'm wondering. Yeah, our fort maintenance is up. Okay. Let's turn that back down. 
It'll go back up when we go to war, and we're probably going to want to turn it back down again. Okay, we've got our CB. Next, of course, we're going to declare this war. Cool. I want to turn down our forts. Get out of here, forts. These guys are going to head in here. These guys are going to head in here. Beautiful. So we're headed directly in. The question is, are they going to raise up their forces and attack us here? Maybe. But if they do, we've got our secondary force here. And that should be absolutely fine. We are going to have to siege through two forts, though. So that is noted. These guys arrived here significantly first, and I like that. That's very good. Probably due to the distance between these points where the units are. Yeah, this looks fine. So we're just going to siege here, and we're going to keep these guys in this location for now. Yeah, that's not getting attrition. That looks fantastic. We shouldn't have a significant problem with this. These guys were just jerks, and we are going to deal with it. There's nothing they can do about it at this point. I'm wondering what's going on over here, though. They're at war up here. Noted. So that's reasonably fine for the moment. We're not too concerned about that. But we do, of course, need to make our way up this way for our mission. Sue for peace. They're offering to give us just this. We decline that offer. We can get so much more out of this. That is absolutely not going to happen. So this mine is going to be finished in 20 days. And it's not going to be that big of a bonus for us yet. Because, I mean, we don't have any slave pops here. But for the moment, that's fine. As we continue to sack locations, we'll get more slaves and our population will grow. And we'll grow into these buildings. That'll be fantastic. But we're not there yet. That will take time. Okay, this does indeed sound beneficial for all of us, but what indeed is this? Losing 10 political influence and 46 gold? No, we're not going to do that. Cool. So we're at 21% on this siege. The siege is going very, very well here. Almost completed with that one. I'm going to start these guys moving in because we're going to need to fight these guys on their home turf, right? And this siege could end at any moment. So the vast majority of this siege is done, and these guys will arrive in here soon. Hopefully on this tick, it will end. We'll see if that ends up happening. Yes. Okay, perfect. So that siege has been completed, and we're going to walk our way up to here. We'll easily defeat their levy, and then we'll siege that down in exactly the same way. We'll pull the same troops out, assuming that we stack wipe this. We likely will. Our commander has eight mi marshal now. That's a good sign. That marshal focus paying off for us. I like it. So we're seeing this siege up here. That does sort of simplify things for us. Sort of. We see that they have a 5k levy. Including Keda. Who is... Oh, that's these guys. This is mostly these up here. Are they allied? They are allied. Okay, that will potentially complicate matters. Potentially. I'm not 100% certain that that will complicate matters, but I want these guys to move out. I want these guys to move out. I want these guys to move out. Only this 3k stack that has the baggage train is going to do this siege. Everybody else is going to pull back. We don't need to take attrition on the majority of our army here. So that looks good. We can get a military tradition, and that gives us access to... Yeah, there's, there's this light infantry offense here. It's okay. We do have light infantry in our, in, in our levies, but light infantry is not ideal. <laughs> let's, uh, let's be honest about that. So we're keeping an eye on this siege and on the status of this alliance as well. We might actually be able to colonize up here once we take this location. What's the population here? Uh, population, please. I don't care about the siege right now. Province view. Okay, nine pops, and that should be reasonably good enough. One sea tile and two sea tile, but I'm guessing this is actually a third sea tile up here. I'm guessing the port would go in up this way. So we're probably not going to be able to colonize that from here. It would be kind of cheeky to do it anyway. We'll see how that ends up going. 
So that is absolutely fine. These guys are probably kind of concerned about us at this point, as well they should be. They are clearly next on the chopping block. Definitely, they are, they, are, they are next in line. There's no other way for us to go unless we wanted to, like, attack overseas over here. And there's not really a reason to do that, in all honesty. I'm wondering right now, yeah, these are... Okay, yeah, that's part of the same problems. Noted. So that seems fine. This has been taken over. That is expected. We know that their overall levy is about 5k, which our levy is definitely stronger than that. But they might hire mercs, and that is a potential concern, for sure. This siege is going to wrap up at any moment. These guys are losing food. So that is absolutely noted, but this siege should be done very, very shortly. That's a merc force heading in. Okay. A 6k merc force heading in here is spicy. We're heading in with our own forces, but uh, hopefully this falls and we just don't have to fight this. Wait a sec. Oh, we're locked in here. This is awkward. They're not fighting. They have low morale, so we're actually interested in fighting this, but... Wild. That seemed like a bug. That they didn't fight there. Okay. Well, we're going to send this force to continue to fight them down here. They have no morale. This could very easily stack wipe them. So, I'm wondering on the timing of this. 13 September. That's not going to stack wipe, I don't think. They're going to recover that small amount of morale. Okay. Well, we'll deal with it. It's not a big deal. They have basically nothing. And at this point, they are retreating down here. Okay, we'll keep chasing them, but this will fall any moment now. Not that moment, though. Sure. This battle will occur on 17 October. So they did get a morale bump there. We'll just continue to chase them down. This siege will end eventually. Okay, not that eventually, though. <laughs> One of these days, this siege will end. We're definitely in the bad luck territory on it for this moment but that's fine. We're going to continue to fight these mercs, and it takes so long to get around over here that we're not really able to stack wipe them. And this is not ideal for us, but we need to keep their morale low, otherwise they're a big threat. Okay, here we go. It finally fell. We'll let the looting be gentle, and we are going to end this war instantly. There we go. And we'll lose half a point of AE. Perfect. Let's put down our levies. There we go. And they can't be raised until when at this point? Levy already... Oh, these guys are locked in. Right. We can't disband them while they're locked in. There we go. So we can't raise the levy again until 484-729. Okay, that's not bad. That is absolutely fine. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see how successful we are at not going to war. It's, uh... I, I've been going to war a lot and saying that we're not going to. But... We're not going to go to war next episode, I hope. <laughs> you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. Also, we've got some forts to delete. Two of them, to be precise.